probably in 2011 and 12, most of the lessors that stayed in the leasing market were actually making money on the cars. You know, used car values were going up in four or five years ago when everybody was originating the vehicles. There wasn't a lot of competition in the leasing market because most of the lenders had left the business. So that allowed them not to have to fight for the residual position. Um, now that the cars are, you know, now about three years ago and it started to get a little more back into leasing, we're starting to see the residuals almost becoming exactly where they should be, you know, pretty much a break even type situation with a little bit of gain on it. But now what's happening is that uh, a lot of the lenders themselves have, have risk sharing agreements with the manufacturers. So what will happen is that they will continue to set the residuals conservatively and that if the manufacturer is looking to try to sell certain types of cars or move the leasing market in certain areas, they're up. They're taking that risk on very similar to a rebate on a, on a vehicle. So that is allowing the banks not to experience that risk to try to get the business. They're still getting the business, but their actual financial balance is right in line with where it should be. And there's not been a lot of aggressive, you know, I guess, overinflating of the ALG numbers and residual percentage numbers.